In this video, we'll be using the superb Affinity Photo to achieve the very popular orange and teal look. We'll be using the mysterious and very underused channel mixer adjustment to create the effect. The teal and orange look is extremely popular, being used in movies, TV programs, photographs of all genres and countless other media platforms. Teal and orange works because we naturally recognise a healthy skin glow as being a pink orange colour and the opposite colour on the colour wheel is teal. Opposite colours on the colour wheel tend to complement each other. There are two basic methods for creating the teal and orange look. Differing scenes will be suited to one or the other or a mixture of both. One method is based on luminance or brightness. Generally the darker colours are made more teal or blue and the lighter colours are made more orange. The problem with this method is that all the darker objects become teal and all the lighter objects become orange. This may not be the effect you're trying to achieve. Another method is to shift the colours within a certain distance of teal on the colour wheel towards teal and shift the colours within a certain distance of orange towards orange. The advantage of this method is that it makes objects look more teal or orange irrespective of how bright they are and so look more natural. There are also mixtures of these methods such as in movies where the skin tones are selected based on their colour and luminance. These are then made more orange and the rest of the scene is made more teal or blue. Ok, let's get started. First we click on the adjustments icon and select channel mixer from the list. Then we select blue from this little drop down menu. So we'll be working on the blue channel. Then we have to type some magic numbers into the individual channel values. Just these three numbers will give your image the teal and orange look. Select the red channel and enter the value minus 50. Select the green channel and enter the value 150. I always tend to type plus 150 out of habit. And finally, select the blue channel and enter the value 0. That's it. All we need to do. I think I'll lower the opacity a little bit so the effect isn't so harsh. Just uh, roll out the slider with this little triangle and set the opacity to the value you'd like. I think about... Ooh, here will be fine. And now you have a really nice teal and orange effect. Let's save the effect as a preset so that we can use it later. First click on the Add Preset button. Then type the name into the dialog box. Teal and Orange Channel Mixer. And now just click OK to save the preset. If you enjoyed this video, why not consider liking and subscribing? It really helps out the channel. Let's take a look at the effect on another image. So, select the Adjustments tab. Scroll down to Channel Mixer and select our adjustment. Then we need to switch to the blue channel to see the values that we entered. While we're here, let's have a little play with the offset slider. It can give some quite interesting effects. <laughs> 